No exaggeration, that was one of the best disc golf shots that I've ever had. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of reviewing old and out of production discs, I am going to throw a curveball at you. This disc is extremely old, the popularity of it has declined rapidly, but it's still in production. In fact, just a few days ago, Innova dropped this disc in a premium plastic, which they have not done for a very long time, trying to bring back some hype to an old favorite in the Innova world. And let me tell you guys something, it worked. It has been a very long time since I've purchased a new disc. And what we're talking about today, of course, is the Innova Condor. Innova Condor came out way back in 1991, and it was Innova's second attempt attempt to make a giant lid style disc to make old school frisbee throwers happy while also transitioning into disc golf. Out of all the discs in that super class series, the Condor was the only one that was well successful. In the 90s, a lot of people loved throwing the Condor, including legends like himself, Ken Climo. Now another really special thing about the Condor is the fact that it is the only disc with a beveled edge that was both popular for a catch disc as well as disc golf. And to put into perspective to you guys how big this disc actually is, here is my Kia and it just settles right in there with room to spare. The only real place you would see the Condor in action is about 200 to 250 feet in. They are very touchy, kind of understable mid-range. I wouldn't begin to know what the flight numbers are for it, but with this premium run that we got here, this Bill Nye the Science Guy collab of all people, I think this should have a little more stability and I definitely think it will find a spot in my bag. Let's see how it throws up and maybe do a couple comparisons. Our first throw with the new Champion Condor, we did of course come to the ace hole. It's about 218 feet, hopefully we can get a first throw ace, and I did forget to mention our new Condor weighs a whopping 200 grams. Let's see how it does. Oh wow! That thing, that thing definitely has some stability. I think that will find a spot in the bag. Well, obviously we gotta run that one back one more time. I'm gonna switch up my throw style on this quite a bit. I'm actually gonna throw it flat, maybe even a little Anheuser and see if it fights back. I mean, it definitely holds the line. That thing is not going very far, I'll tell you that. I'm starting to really understand that 200 feet and in. Now I will throw the oldie for a comparison. I actually did release that one on a slight Anheuser. As you can see, it just held that line the entire flight path. It's what Condors do, but this one is pretty beat in. I'm gonna go for a lot more of a Heiser and hopefully get that nice flip up and just let it glide. As you can see, that one did turn. It kind of had a similar flight path, but I did throw them on very different angles. The, the beat in is a huge difference and I'm excited for the new one. The Condor is flying like a true Condor should, but the more important question is, does it putt? No, it is so, this, it's so glidey, even just a little wrist flick. Oh, we almost got that one. Very glidey disc. So it is that time guys, what do you think of the stamp? And what I love about this is we have a classic new school and the old school to compare. And for me, like always, it's a no brainer. The old school stamp of the Condor is super cool. And overall, I mean, it's a 10 out of 10. The Condor is one of the most unique birds. I believe it is the largest bird in North America. I could be wrong. I also think they are endangered, but just the fact that it's such a large bird, the disc is an absolute dinner plate and that it just hovers in the air forever. I think the whole concept of it is amazing. To be fair, this new stamp is pretty cool. Space theme's always an interesting one on a disc, but secretly, I kind of just want to wipe the stamp and have a good 
disc dyer put Greta on it. I think that would be really cool. For our second test with the Condor, we have brought it to the water hole. Now this water hole is about 265 feet, so it's kind of right on that edge of the Condor's capabilities for me anyway. But an interesting thing about the Condor is if you were to join the competition for a disc to just simply remain in the air the longest, the Condor would be your go-to. If you get this thing up and just let it start lofting around, it's almost comical how long it will stay up in the air. So we're gonna push this one out there, give it some height and see what happens. <laughs> that it's just weird for me to throw a condor that's actually like holding stability like that i thought we'd get a nice turn and nope we just went dead straight and even hyzered out into the woods now let's try it with the old school one look at that thing isn't that crazy, the difference? You put that thing up, let it flip up and turn over, and it will just plane out forever. Now, we have to go do a scavenger hunt for not one, but two condors. Now listen, I want to start off by saying I know that this is probably a really bad idea. I've never ended up over here before. To be fair, the blue condor actually had a putt, but I'm going to try to throw this thing just as high as I can in the air, see if that stability will catch and leave us a putt. That would be amazing. <clears throat> Wow, that thing sounds like an absolute brick when it hits the ground. Let's see, how, let's see how it ended up because I have no idea. No exaggeration, that was one of the best disc golf shots that I've ever had. If I would have tried that with something else in my bag, like a driver, anything to push that much height, I don't think it would have worked at all. I actually think the extreme weight of the Condor and it's just stability that it has right now really saved us on that shot. Another interesting fact about the Condor and a very legitimate use of the Condor is to get out of the rough, especially back in the 90s. This was like a classic get out of a tight situation, not because, you know, it's so sleek and slender, because it's so heavy. At the end of the day, it's a lot easier to throw a brick through a bush than a piece of paper. Now with all jokes aside, this would be a situation where I would really consider the condor. We have probably about 150 feet to the basket. It's a pretty sharp Anheuser. We kind of have a low ceiling. We have to push it out because we also have to get over those bushes. And as you guys saw with this thing, if you put it on a hyzer, it will handle all of the torque in the world. But if you release it on that soft Anheuser, it will hold the line and will have the most beautiful pan out you've ever seen. I mean, the thing just glides and glides. They are perfect for those situations. And that wraps up today's video on our review of the Innova Condor. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Most of my viewers are not subscribed, so I would greatly appreciate it. And guys, also hit that notification bell, turn on all notifications. YouTube now requires not just a subscription, but also to turn on notifications so you can see when my videos are posted. You're gonna want that notification because next Sunday's video is going to be a very interesting one. It's a video that you don't wanna miss and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Now it's your turn to go toss some plastic. <laughs>